The scandal-plagued head of the Buffalo Water Board is in the spotlight again, and this time about a lack of transparency in how his organization holds its meetings. I'm joined by Two on Your Side Investigates, Charlie Specht, whose reporting exposed the recent violations of the state's open meetings law uh, by the Buffalo Water Board. What's the latest, Charlie? Mary Alice, earlier this week, we reported that the State Committee on Open Government, which is the authority on New York's transparency laws, said that the Water Board violated state law by suggesting in a written agenda that only select people were allowed to attend its meetings in person. Well, now the Water Board and its chair, O.J. McFoy, are responding with a statement that says, in part, quote, Buffalo Water is committed to transparency and community partnership which is why we've always welcomed customers to attend our water board meetings. We appreciate our customers' interests in our work and their important role in holding us accountable. The statement goes on to defend the practice of holding water board meetings not at City Hall, but in a cramped conference room behind a gate and a security guard on Porter Avenue at the water treatment plant. The state committee said that was not a violation of the law, but some are hoping that acting mayor Chris Scanlon will push the board to do better. You know, meeting notices and meetings should be held in City Hall and accessible places. So my hope is Mayor Scanlon will make this a priority. We've seen time and time again where plenty of politicians have said that, but the follow through has been lacking. So uh, hopefully he'll be different. I mean, he, he can show us that how committed he is to open government. And we should note here that the Water Board drafted this statement with a hired publicist and did so separate from the Scanlon administration at City Hall, with a spokesperson for the acting mayor saying he would have his own update on transparency measures coming next week. And a question about the timing. Why is this statement coming out now? You know, we don't really know because we did include a statement from McFoy in our original report. All we can think, though, is that he has been out of town all week and just returned on a taxpayer-funded trip to Arizona for another water conference. Still much more to come with this story. We'll keep you updated. Alrighty, thank you, Charlie.